What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix stuttering or FPS drops in the new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. By the end of this video, you should have a much more stable frame rate. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up Blizzard. Head across to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and then simply click play. Now before we get to the last tip that has arguably the most impact on most GPUs, we'll run through a couple of the obvious ones that will affect you overall. So number one, when the game is open or even loading up, hit Control Shift Escape to bring up your task manager. When it's open, simply locate Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, right click and then click go to details. Otherwise, if you don't see this option, double click and right click the first entry here, then click go to details. After clicking it, we'll be taken to the details tab and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War will be selected. Simply right click the game, hover over set priority and simply set it to high. This means that the game will take as much CPU, GPU and everything else that it needs to run without worrying about the rest of your PC and leaving some available for other programs. This of course may have a huge impact on programs like OBS, but of course if you're going for high stable FPS, that's not an issue of yours. Then the second thing, which is arguably the most common and obvious, is clicking the settings button, heading across to graphics and adjusting your settings, lowering them and making sure that these top ones up here, refresh rate, display resolution and render resolution all match the size and frame rate of your actual physical monitor. Obviously full screen as well. So I'm not going to go through and tell you to lower each one of these settings as that's pretty obvious by now. If you'd like a full optimization video, check the description down below. Obviously, that'll make some kind of an impact. The option that we're worried about here, at the very bottom, we have the VRAM usage target. Allowing more VRAM to be used will help the game's performance but may cause hitching if not enough VRAM is left for other applications to run. Here, you can change it between 70% and 90% and that's all the leverage you get. This, of course, isn't enough. For most GPUs, but especially lower end GPUs and some AMD GPUs will benefit from the next tip greatly. We'll be adjusting this VRAM usage target outside of the options over here. Simply hit back and quit out of the game completely. Hold start and E to bring up a file explorer and then simply head across to the document section. Inside of here, open Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War followed by player. Then we'll be opening config.ini. Inside of here, we'll simply be scrolling to the very bottom to the system settings section. Then somewhere in here, we'll have video memory, fraction of video memory usage to target. We'll be changing this between 0.5 and 1. Now, of course, the game only goes between 0.7 and 0.9, but what I've heard from a lot of people is changing this to 0.65 or even as low as 0.55 will mean that the game will run a lot smoother with way fewer FPS drops, especially on lower end GPUs and some specific AMD GPUs. So to test this safely, just change it to 65. And if you want to test what 55 does, sure, go for it. Changing this shouldn't have too much of an effect on the game, but of course it may have a big one depending on your system. So play around with that as you will. Simply save the file when you're done changing some settings and relaunch it from over here. Note that if you do go into the options menu in game and you change some settings around, that setting may reset itself the next time that the settings file is saved. If you do go adjusting video settings, make sure to check that config file in the player folder again to make sure that it hasn't been changed. As far as I know, the game shouldn't change it too much, but if it does, it's there and you know why. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!